with just the right piece of wood and some hot glue, Glenn Cozier secures the trim on his latest creation. Though his birdhouses are functional, they're not just for the birds. People looking out their window, the people who love birds, to see the birds in the house, but I needed to add a little more to the house so the people in the house could enjoy it as much as the birds do. I love it. It's like a very unusual hobbit house. You know, that's kind of how I look at it, not even a birdhouse. It's so unusual. It's art. Laura Perrier has witnessed Glenn's artistic ability during their friendship over the past 20 years. She's admired the birdhouses for the past few years he's been making them and couldn't be happier that she received one of her own as a housewarming gift. It's just gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it. He just thinks of different things and like to put the copper wire, like a valance over the window. He puts a huge amount of detail into it. They have uh, solar panels, so all the windows light up at night. It's not so much for the birds, but it's for the person who's looking outside at night where they can say, oh, look at my house, it's up. Although Laura's birdhouse is equipped with a solar panel, it won't be lighting up at night. No birds will ever see it. It's not going outside. My husband said, really? I said, no, I can't. It's too precious. It's too, it's, it's so a fabulous work of art that won't see outside. Adding to the rarity of these houses is the material Glenn uses, like these old cedar shakes that he found that were just being burned for firewood. I've had it graded and it's over a thousand years old, it's first growth. They had so much character, the artist side of me saw something that I had to run with. This uh, copper that I'm getting is uh, from the old 1920s radios. Glenn's been collecting various items, including beach glass, for years knowing that he'd like to apply them to art in some way later on. I'm now using all my collected pieces, my coppers, and going to the restore and, and finding objects that I could transform into some beauty. Glenn is no stranger of creating beautiful things. His job of doing custom paint has allowed him some creativity, but he's come to love working with wood and his own ideas. I just run with what's in my mind, and every time I do something, it's just more elaborate because I have more ideas and it's full of ideas. I wish I had that kind of artistic eye. It's really hard to describe, but when you meet someone that is that artistic, it, you're just blown away that they can just create something from nothing. Yeah, it's special. I had no idea they'd be so crazy about them and that, that has given me bigger ideas. Um, the call for these, uh, it's crazy. Keeping up to the demand for these birdhouses is a challenge for Glenn, but a welcome one. Keeping up his supply of old shakes is an even bigger challenge. It's the age that I need, the old shakes, the ones that have the warps and the imperfections. That's what is the character, is the imperfections. Glenn has tried to make new shakes look old, but unhappy with his results, he continues his search. He has no website yet, and these are not something he can mass produce. For now, he's just enjoying building. I love it. It's just the best thing at the end of the day to come out and, and create. In Nanaimo, I'm Kelly Robinson.